Hey, all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to another round of BuzzFeed quizzing with me and Phil. How are you doing over there, Phil? Um, uh, not too, not too, not too shabby there, mate. Are not we, too shabby. Um, is this mm -hmm. the? I think this is only the second time now we've done this. Is it second? Second, third. Um, it's not yeah. It's not a high number. We haven't really done BuzzFeed not quizzes high. all that often. Um, so no, yeah. we haven't. We haven't. Because it hasn't, it hasn't picked it in a while, no. So uh, it's always in either you get, like we're doing here, either weird niche ones mm. or uh, some quite interesting trivia ones, which yeah. we have tried, which we have tried before. Indeed, um, yeah. So tell us, uh, pray do tell, what are we doing this time? So Phil, I know you've always uh, said to me definitely, you know, off off camera, how you've always wanted to find out which Disney character, which particularly oh, niche which Disney character you are. Me, yes, <laughs> yes, I'd that love is... <laughs> to find out what Disney character I is. Yes, I indeed. I've watched a Disney film in ages. Don't yeah. know what the last Disney film I watched. Yeah, I can't. Well, actually, no, I can remember which uh, was the last Disney film I watched. It was. Um, a more modern one. It was like an animated uh, Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey oh, doing the voice I don't think of I've Scrooge. Watched one for yeah. ages. I think it would like be like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah, um, <laughs> I was about to ask you know what was the last one you remember watching, but um, indeed it might be so far back. Something like yeah, so far yeah. back. Because like, uh, I'm not a film watcher really. No, to be honest. So. Indeed. Oh, so um, we're going to throw ourselves right in. Um, so hopefully you can see that uh, quiz just on your uh, end. Yeah, just I've, fine. Got it, I've got it on my end as well, so yeah. uh, I can I can do it as well, and then we can find out if we're if we're different. Oh, oh do t do keep in mind that Buzzfeed said I I would uh, I'd be good in the international relations field. Oh yes, that field <laughs> in one of the previous quizzes that we did, um, which was curious. But uh, yes, okay, Phil, we've got to pick a colour. Um, so what do we got so, here? We've got. Uh, Blue, green, uh, sort of orangey red. This is gonna, this is pinkish. Gonna take your colour blindness. Yes, isn't it? it is. <laughs> a yellow and what looks like a deeper sort of pink. Um, I feel like if you go for the pink no, ones, that's uh, that's a that's sort of mauve colour. Mauve, that. mauve, yeah, uh, mauve. mauve. I think for me, uh, well, one of my favourite colours is blue, so I'm going to go yeah, blue. I'd probably go blue as well since it is um, so my favourite. I yeah. chose blue. <laughs> so Ooh, my... a city, city. Ooh. Mm. Okay, now these are all intriguing cities. Honolulu, London, Sydney, Shanghai, Berlin, and what happens to be, uh, I'm sure that's a phonetic alphabet there. Yeah, <laughs> Lima, Varel, and all that. You know, I thought, are you doing uh, some sort of French accent there for a moment, Phil? A little bit, yes. Yes. So we've got, basically we've got uh, Hawaii, England, Australia, China, Germany and Peru. Peru, yes. Mm. I mean, we could just be predictable and uh, go with uh, London since, you know, we are both residents of the old United Kingdom. No, but... Um, you could go for something exciting. You know what's always interesting? I'm clicking Sydney. You're clicking Sydney, are you? I'm okay. Sydney. It'd be nice to visit Sydney. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Nice city, so I've, I've gone with Sydney. I'm going to go with the only other capital city on that list that I've actually been to. I'm going to go with Berlin since I've been You're there. You're going Berlin, okay. Berlin, it is. Okay. Uh, how would your friends describe you, <laughs> Phil? Determined right. and loyal. So, ah, so I think I think uh, you've got to answer for me. And okay, I've got to answer for you. Interesting. That's the name of the thing. Yeah, let's do um, that. So um, the, the options are determined and loyal, playful and passionate, cute and funny. Oh, that's definitely me. Uh, Hardworking and optimistic, good-looking and talented. That's also definitely me. <laughs> Fearless and Business loving. Hmm. Um, Indeed. Uh, I mean. If I had to pick one for you from that list, I'd probably say hardworking and optimistic. Um, do, do you know what I would have said? The, I would have said the same thing. Really? Actually. Yeah. I would have said the same thing. Hardworking and optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, always, we, I know we both like like working and, and good things, and mm. we both have a positive outlook on life, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Indeed. Um, you would so... say I'm cute, Phil. <laughs> You know, no, with my ugly eyes. No, oh, well, <laughs> dearie me. You know, I'll have to, uh, you know, get myself on camera and get my giant ugly eyes going on that I totally have. Um, <laughs> okay. Hard work, not optimistic, yeah. then. Hard working That's optimistic, the it is. I'll go that for you. Ooh. An animal. Mm. Right. Hmm. Whale, llama, dog, mouse, chicken, or bear? I like how that chicken has glasses on. Um, that does, I like that little, yes. uh, little animation there. Mm. Um. I guess maybe mm. just pick which one uh, kind of appeals to you out of yeah. these ones. The one um, that really appeals to me is not on there. So, okay. As long as I'm a big fan of cats. Well, let's. But, uh, you're gonna, would you have picked a cat if it was uh, available? Absolutely, I'd yeah. Have a cat. So, <laughs> I've got. Uh, I've got. Oh, there's two of cat's worst enemies on there. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Maybe that's um, going to sway you away from dog or mouse. Then, what in that case. I'm going to. You know what? I go to the gym. I'm big and powerful. Yeah. 
bear. Bear. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a, a whale just because uh, I like marine life yeah, and all you're that. Yeah, fat shit as well. Oh wow! D damn! Freaking there fat phobia go. coming from Phil Boom. over there. Good lord! <laughs> Jeez. Everybody post in the comments say you know hashtag um, you know prosecute Phil and all that. Good lord! No, because it's true. Oh, oh okay. Well, <laughs> you know he's not offensive if it's true, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. <laughs> all right, whale. There we go. Uh, right. What's your favourite season? Spring, um, summer, autumn, winter. Uh, I mean, I think summer. Yeah, for me. summer's always be, nice. I think it could be really warm, but I have bad circulation. Yeah. So um, when when it's nice and warm like that, it really does mean um, and winter can be too too cold. So summer for me, definitely. Yeah, summer's always a good one because good time even, just because you know it's the end of the academic year and all that, and you get that break where you can go and see friends and family and all that. Um, and it's always a nice time because it's like I say it's warm. You can go and do things. Um, Autumn is, you know, autumn's all right, but obviously it gets rainy and it does get rainy. But one good thing about autumn, I will say, is I do like the uh, the crispy leaves underfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice to hear that as well. And winter, yeah. I do like snow can be can be fun at some at some stage, but uh, as well, I suppose spring. It's sort of the start of the uh, where it's all all, all the, the flowers are coming out and everything. So yeah. it's going to be a nice and nice period in springtime as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to go summer though, personally. You're on a summer as well. I'm okay. on summer. Yeah. Ooh, accessories. Accessor right. Sunglasses, what? beanie, a fan, a necklace, a veil, or sandals. Hmm. Mm, okay. 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 Interesting. I get the feeling that whichever one of these you pick, it'll pick like a Disney character from a certain climate or something. Or something, or something like yeah, that, yeah. Uh, which, which accessory do I like? Um, for me, I'm probably going to go beanie. I like a beanie? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, so that's, that's what I'm picking. Hmm. Maybe I'll just, um, let's see, what would, I, what would I go for? What would I go for? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Sandals, sunglasses. Um, what one of those accessories appeals to you? Uh, you know what, I'm just going to go with the sunglasses. Um, okay. Keep it simple, sunglasses. you know. Since I you know, like summer, I think a uh, good set of sunglasses will do. Film genres. Ooh. Romance, action, thriller, sci-fi, comedy, or horror. Mm. <laughs> so if I was to sit down and watch a film, which is granted is, is not something I really do. Yeah. <laughs> but if I was to pick a film genre out that I'd mostly watch, for me, I would be in the comedy field. To comedy. Be mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm going to pick comedy. You're picking comedy. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm sort of in that same park in terms of obviously I don't watch films all that often. So um, instead, what I'm thinking of, what is the last film I watched, and I might just pick the genre sort of that that was. I would have thought for you, you you'd be a big, you're a big fan of the sci-fi sort of things. Sci-fi, so, yeah. yeah. That would kind of fit because um, I actually did watch uh, the Terminator again uh, recently. Oh yes, yeah. So. That's you know what? Sci-fi. Go on. We'll go with sci-fi for me then. Okay. Yep. Ooh, food. Okay. Ooh, now then. Mm, that's Got interesting. Some dumplings, some lobster, some steak with fries, some vegetable curry, beans on toast, or bratwurst. Oh, bratwurst. Beans on toast is a very, uh, very British thing, that. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. add some cheese slices onto the toast before you pour the beans on. Oh, uh, that works as well. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Well, which one really appeals? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um. So I mean, this is very. Yeah. Um, I've tried lobster once, and um, uh, but it's always very expensive. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Steak and fries uh, always sounds nice, though. I always find with steak, you've got to get it nice and tender, because if it's not quite tender enough, it can get a bit sort of like very chewy. Um, yeah, and and mm. obviously people like it in different ways yeah. as well. People like their steak. Well, there's all sorts of different varieties. Yeah. Um, What's your favourite me... way of doing a steak, Phil? Um, <laughs> you have a pre particular preference. Of, of, of steak, mm -hmm. um, I would more veer towards the well done. Yeah, I'd probably be sort of like I'm, I'm medium more to well, well done. done. Yeah, <laughs> same. I know, yeah. I know the the most. The, I think the, uh, the the most common one is is sort of well done, but with, with a bit of blood. Yeah, um, I know that people are like, sort of like medium. Yeah, um, indeed. I've I've never been sort of into the idea of uh, rare meat. Um, you know, mm. where it's all, almost Beef raw. But yeah, uh, no thanks, not for me. A very big one. Indeed, Bratwurst though. That's always that's that's nice as well. Um, we never did that. We never did have that. We, we never did. Sick. We didn't. Um, yeah, shame that. Shame but should have, yeah. should have done that. I think uh, all a, a vegetable curry can be good. You mm. see, you don't need meat in everything. You don't. I know that. I think for me though, I'm going to go with steak with fries. You're going to go with steak with fries. Uh, you know what? I might go with the bratwurst, um, just because okay. I do remember having a bratwurst when I went to Berlin in 2008, and it was quite nice. So, um, 
Yeah, fuck it. Rat first. There we go. Ooh. Superpower time. Okay. Super strength, flight, invisibility, shape shifting, teleportation, or mind control. Ooh. Mm. Interesting. Um, Which one really appeals? Yeah. Shape mind control. Shape shifting turn into anything. <laughs> mm. I don't. Uh, I suppose be all right, but I mean, yeah. I mean, you could you could mess around, turn yourself into a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Open me. I think for me. Uh, well, I was going to say it's a toss-up between flight and teleportation, but with flight, you only go in so far, whereas with teleportation, you're instantly there. Yeah, indeed. I mean, you never have to worry about, you know, being late for work or anything, because you, yeah. you could just, uh, you know, as soon as it hit 7.59, bim, mm. and you're there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going teleportation for me. I'm going to yeah. go mind control, um, just because I think it would be, uh, you know, funny linking into my sort of silly online general red persona. I think I'll just go mind control for the hell of it. The only <laughs> issue with mind control is um, mm. if you start hearing the thoughts of people and seeing the, mm. you might hear, you know, awful True. things and things like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might hear about Pat from down the road who's actually got horrible secret kinks and fetishes that he don't yeah. want to know about. <laughs> yes. Well, you know what? Screw it. For the shits and giggles, mind control. Mind control. <laughs> there we go. Oh, right. Okay. Best friends. Okay. Um, so, yeah, these various different ca characters. Um, okay. So, Cinderella, Stitch, Maid Marion, Li Shang. Is Li Shang from Mulan or something? I, I think Maid Marion, I think, is from Aristocats. Uh, God, I can't remember. The problem is, like, there's so many um, classic Disney films. Isma, like, I'm not sure. I think it's Isma Bad from um, The Emperor's New Groove. I think oh, it she could be, yeah. was. Um, <laughs> I can vaguely, I think I have like vague recollections of that from when I was a Where's kid. Where's Flounder from? Flounder from, seems. It's Flounder from The Little Mermaid, by any that's chance. That's it, yes. Flounder's from The Little Mermaid. Yeah. I think Maid Marion is Aristocats. Stitch, obviously, mm. Lilo and Stitch and Cinderella. Um, yeah. Who'd be the best friend there? Be Indeed. Good. Who would be the best friend? I mean, um, Lee Shanks is a sort of ninja. Yeah. Um, that could be quite useful. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Um, I think I'm going to go with him. Yeah, yeah I think I'm leaning towards him as well, because I'm thinking, what use would the other ones be? Especially Flounder. What use would a fish be out of water? <laughs> yeah, well... Um, it wouldn't be any use out there. No, it wouldn't. You know, unless just to uh, skillet it, cook it, and eat it. But uh, there yeah. you go. Li Shang, we're going with him. Okay. Ooh. Disney song. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, thank God, uh, let it go is not on there. <laughs> yeah, I was about to um, say. <laughs> Uh, remember me from Coco? I have no idea about that one. Part of your world from Little Mermaid? No idea. Okay. Hawaiian roller coaster ride? Don't know that one either. Girl with fighting for? Don't know that one. God, Jesus Christ! I don't, don't remember any of these no, songs. I don't know either. Um... <laughs> it's been so long uh, since I watched a classic Disney movie. Um... Right, I, I'm going to I'm going to close my eyes and pick one. Pick one at right. random. Okay. Yeah, yeah I might I'm do the same actually. Bang! Oh, I did, I chose the roller coaster ride one. Okay, hold on, and boom. I chose a girl worth fighting for from Milan. So yeah, I've gone for the roller coaster ride from okay, uh, no. Lilo and Stitch. Okay. Ooh. And lastly, a Disney up or Pixar movie. Okay. okay. So yeah, the sort of joint forces. We've got yeah. Sleeping Beauty, Moana, Turning Red, The Sword in the Stone, Encanto, and Coco. Hmm. We're not going to lie. Like for example, Turning Red. I've never heard of that one. No, uh, Turning Red. No. Moana. Moana. Yeah, Moana, Sleeping Beauty, obviously the classic one. I have seen that one. I do Sword remember in the that Stone, as a kid. Encanto and Coco. Yeah. Yeah. Is Encanto the one about the Mexican kid who goes to the world of the dead and tries to become an amazing guitarist or something? I can't remember. Oh God, I'd... yeah, I'm not sure. It sounds it's a more though. modern one. Yeah, or is that Coco actually? Come to think, I don't don't know. I've no idea. Um, yeah. So. Phew. I mean, I know that Moana is a bit like a seafaring adventure and so on that sort of level. Yeah, there is there's... kind of a bit of appeal to it, um, even though I've never seen it. Um... Sleeping Beauty is all about uh, waking the uh, waking Sleeping Beauty from uh, slumber. Yeah. It's about, it's about a beauty well. who's asleep. <laughs> yes, mm, indeed. Um, yeah. You know, interesting fun fact. I remember actually as a kid, there were always like certain scenes in the in Sleeping Beauty that I always found kind of creepy as a kid, like with what she called Maleficent. Um, Oh, witch in it yeah. and just like there's like shots of her like where she's observing Sleeping Beauty from like the dark it's just like her eyes in the darkness I just have like weird memories oh God, of that's a bit creepy creepy scenes oh just like ugh. that was the thing though with like a lot of some like real classic Disney movies like they could be sometimes creepy and scary for kids like do you remember like the scene in um, Snow White where the evil queen takes the potion and turns into the old woman and just like she goes through that transformation oh, yes, yeah. yeah that's another one that like is 
all kinds of messed up <laughs> for a kid. But yeah, uh, yeah. there are some uh, indeed interesting connotations. Yeah, that's for sure, there are. I think I think I'm going to go Moana just because it's a uh, hot little Hawaiian girl. All right, there same here. And for the seafaring right. adventure, Moana. Sure, why the hell not? I got. Cobra Bubbles. I got Cobra Bubbles ah, as well. We're both Cobra Bubbles. We're People co uh, know you to be a hard worker with a penchant for getting things done swiftly and correctly, but underneath your composed exterior, you're a big old softy just waiting for somebody to love. Well, yeah, I think. Not, not too far off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sounds about right, I do think. So we both got that. We're both a big dude in a suit with sunglasses <laughs> and uh, ear piercing. <laughs> yes, the spitting image of both of ourselves. <laughs> right, well, there we go. That was a little Disney quiz. Um, that was a little bit of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, just to get us started. Um, he's definitely a niche Disney character who I'd never heard of uh, before now. Either. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to jump cut here, and uh, Phil's then going to pick See. out a quiz uh, of his own for us to do. So, one second, okay. everybody. Right, we're back in, ladies and gentlemen, and Phil has picked us out another quiz to do for this episode. So, Phil, explain to me what is going on. I think we're going to get a series of uh, foods, maybe some drinks as well, um, and we, we, we're going to decide what we prefer. Do we prefer them hot or cold? Because some, some work one way, some work both ways really well. Yeah. Um, so we, we can have a go at uh, finding which. And, and of course, viewers, which do you prefer? Do you prefer these things hot or do you prefer these things cold? Indeed. Um, yeah, you can uh, play along, actually, everybody, if you want to. So, uh, yeah. you know, leave us uh, thoughts in the comments if you wish to. So, uh, first question, coffee, Phil. Um, oh. Hot or iced? God, do I absolutely love coffee. So much so, I've been going to Costa quite a bit. Yeah, you and, have. And uh, getting cappuccinos. Yeah, I've been mm. getting cappuccinos quite a bit. And even to the point, I now get a free coffee because I've uh, filled in all my beans. Yeah. But for me, 100 billion percent, it's hot coffee. Yeah, I think I'd hot be the same. Um, iced just doesn't really appeal to me. Um, so if I was to have a coffee, mm. I definitely would have it hot. Um, have hot. Not that I have coffee all that often. Obviously, I'm I don't a think I've really tried iced coffee. I should give it. I should probably give it a whirl. Yeah. See what it's like. Mm. Um, yeah, it's worth trying it. Um, yeah. You know, I shouldn't really say, you know, that'd be totally against the idea because you never know until you've tried it. You never know, you might try it and find you really like it. Really love it, yeah. yeah. So, um, think, um, indeed. I'll give but, it a whirl, but definitely hot coffee. Hot, yeah, yeah same here. I'm going with hot as well. Uh, ooh, right, apparently. Um, percentages, yeah. So more people seem to like iced. Interesting, yeah. That's a. Uh, Curious, it? it's kind of almost like a uh, sort of would you rather kind of thing. This, yeah, uh, the more quiz. people like ice, that's yeah. interesting. I thought more people have gone the hot coffee, really. Yeah, region. hot coffee, oh dear. Uh, hot coffee. Me. Mm. Your, that, that's a connotation for. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Deary me. Uh, hot right. cake or cold cake? Ooh. Now then, mm. that's Ooh. an intriguing one. Uh, yeah. Sometimes hot cake um, can be good. I know, like getting a hot chocolate fudge cake. Yeah. But then there are other cakes that are much better cold. Yeah, I was about to say, it depends on the cake. Because um, certain ones are good when you warm them up, but other ones you wouldn't warm up at all. I mean, like chocolate fudge cake can be both fantastic hot and cold. Yeah, it can. Thing, but uh, if you have uh, have something like a like yeah like Victoria sponge, yeah. I don't think that would do good hot. No, it wouldn't. Hot Victoria sponge cake, yeah. So, what I'm going to do with this particular question, Phil, because the pictures are of chocolate cake, I'm going to sort of say, let's think of it in terms of chocolate cake and use that um, to guide our answer. Okay. Maybe uh, I don't for know. me. Well, if that if that's the cake, mm. okay, that looks like an Oreo cake on the right. There. Yeah, it does that's actually. Not Oreo. For me, I'd probably prefer cold. Yeah. For me, because it's a... Uh, I don't know why I went a bit West Country. For, for, me. for me. For me, Phil, I'd prefer to have my cake hot uh, if it's chocolate, because, uh, well, warmed up a bit. Because, you know, maybe get a dollop of vanilla ice cream on it as well or something like that, you know? Bit, yeah, yeah, a bit I, of decadent. I can see what you mean there. I can see what you mean yeah. there, but I think cold's better for me. Yeah. But. I'm going to go hot, but, uh, yeah, so okay. Phil's going cold. There we are. Um, ooh, interesting. Uh, I'm in the cold, minority. More people have gone cold. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing is, you know, both are good. To be honest, um, you know, I'd have either of them, hot or cold. Um, yeah. But, I yeah. mean, the word wanders both ways. Yeah. Uh, indeed. Right. Okay. Ah, sandwiches. Now, now you're the connoisseur. Because <laughs> obviously, I do have a lot of baguettes you do. and sub rolls for my tea. Um, uh, well, to be to be fair, the majority of them is uh, is cold, cold. Um, but I do like sometimes because um, I know there's a place near me that does like um, hot um, tuna and cheese baguette and everything. Um, 
but sometimes because I because I wait for my tea, I get it in the day, and then I have to heat it up in the microwave. Yeah. And I must admit, sometimes when it's hot, the uh, the sort of baguette bread does go a bit soggy. Yeah. So if I could choose, I'd probably go cold sandwiches. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. Think about like hot sandwiches. I think is um, you got to really eat them there and then once once they're warm yeah. and they're nice and crisp uh, otherwise i think like you say if you try reheating them later they do they can get a bit soggy and a bit yeah, you know the quality's the not as great so you know bearing that in mind um oh god i mean i do like a warm hot sandwich like if it's nicely toasted uh, like yeah, a toasted that, cheese that's sandwich that. it's got like a tuna melt it's yeah fantastic. <laughs> ham but and cheese or something. Go, i've still got to try the because uh, obviously i like um there's a chicken bolty oh, uh, yeah. so that have, and I haven't tried it hot yet because i usually have that cold but yeah. Yeah. For me, I, I do prefer the cold route, so I'm going. I'm going cold. Yeah, I've, I've told you before, haven't I? Um, about when I used to work at uh, Booth Supermarkets in the cafe, and at one point we did like a steak, cheese, and red onion panini, and it was oh, oh. god, it was delicious. It was nice. I remember just going in once or twice um, when I was off duty and just having it for lunch or something. Yeah, oh, paninis are good. Oh, paninis are fantastic. Yes. You know, paninis. that's really swaying me now towards hot. So screw it. I'm going to go with hot. Um, You're going to go with hot. Yeah, <laughs> do love it a bit hot. More people go the hot route as well. There we go. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, they're both good. Oh, they're both good. Um, that's the thing. All right, next one. Candy bars. Right, 100%. For me, cold. Cold. I absolutely love it. Like getting a candy bar, you know, like, like a Mars bar or a Cadbury Dairy Milk. Yeah. And what I do, as soon as I buy it from the supermarket, I shove it straight into the fridge. Same here. It goes straight yeah. into the fridge. <laughs> Indeed. I know, I love, I absolutely love the chocolate bars when they're nice and chilled like that. When they take it out of the fridge, oh, it makes it so much better. Yeah, um, I'm very much that, with you uh, on that one. My sister used to get like chocolate bars because she liked to put it in the microwave until Ooh. it sort of melted. She okay. loved that. Nah, nah, yeah. I don't like that hot one. So I, I shove it into the uh, into the fridge. So it's 100 percent is cold for me. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I'd go cold as well because I don't know. Like I, I can understand the appeal of uh, having it warm and a bit sort of melty, but I can imagine that when it starts obviously melting, it can be a bit of a mess. Um, so as well, yeah, you yeah. Got I would I would go with cold too. Um, definitely, whenever I get chocolate as well myself, it goes straight in the fridge when I get back just to nice and cool it down um so yeah cold i'm going straight with that one yeah look at that yeah loads of people prefer cold to hot yeah oh, yeah that is a huge <laughs> indeed um, a very big difference okay um pop tarts Ooh. now i've never tried pop tarts neither have i i, um, I, I actually to be, to be fair I do want to give them a go. Mm -hmm. I have noticed in some supermarkets, they obviously do have an American section, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've noticed in some of the supermarkets near me, but so, no doubt near you, there'll be an American section. Yeah. So I think at one point, what I might do is go there and um, get some Pop-Tarts and give them yeah. a try. Maybe try them both hot and cold, because I know you can see, you stick them into a toaster, I believe. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a, I'll confess here, I'm a bit sort of ignorant. I don't really know what Pop-Tarts actually are. So are they just sort of like... Um, Kind of like doughy or bready? What, what exactly? Yeah, they're sort of like a um, a biscuit. Yeah, you know, sort of like biscuity below with a with a topping of well, they have all sorts of different toppings, but I believe it's sort of a frosting topping. Okay. Um, yeah. And they have various different versions of flavors: chocolate, strawberry. I think the default one is a stra strawberry one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's the default one. But yeah, you can eat, you can eat, you can either choose it to put it in a toaster and heat it up, or just have it plain straight out of the bag. But I think I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have to give it a go. Yeah, um, <laughs> maybe I'll have to um, keep my eyes peeled next time in the yeah, supermarket. Have a look at it, uh, I've noticed a few of the supermarkets near me, and no doubt near you, have a, an American section. Yeah. So we can look at that. Indeed. Uh, well, in that case, then, um, God, it would be a bit of a random cho choice, this one, I think. Cause, I think uh, they'd be really nice hot, though. Yeah, probably would be. Because I think it does say on the instructions for them, but like best served hot. Yeah. And it does look nice and crispy there in, mm. when, when it's hot. It looks a bit anemic there yeah it does actually on that right one yeah so i'm gonna just stick myself with hot then yeah. on that one you know what you've swayed me i'll go hot as well um there we are hot. oh interesting percentages yeah uh we're in the majority Seven. okay interesting hmm. um mm. right which way do you prefer chicken hot so you know fried or right. cold right, right. in a salad um, chicken salad oh funnily enough um for lunch today, I had a chicken salad sandwich, yeah. and that was that was enjoyable. Mm. Uh, I do like uh, cold chicken in various various baguettes and things like that, but fried chicken's really good as well. Yeah. Um, so, um, especially when it's super crispy. Oh yeah, like, definitely. Like KFC. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, I definitely like obviously chicken when it's hot, uh, and like you say, you know, it's fried and it's nice and crispy and all that. Having said that, um, you know, cold chicken is not something I would 
commonly go for. But having said that, it depends on what it's paired with. I mean, like, for example, in a sandwich, like a chicken mayo sandwich, that's always delicious. Um, or chicken salad, yeah. yeah. Um, just on that basis, I'm, I'm going to go with hot. But having said that, you know, there are um, combinations where I would go with it cold, yeah. um, depending I would, on what it's paired with. Because the, the baguettes and, 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 and sub rolls and things yeah. like that, you know, chicken tikka, chicken balti, they're all they're all cold. And, yeah. uh, and, I, and I really enjoy chicken and bacon. I really enjoy I really enjoy them. So I'm, I think I'm going to go more the cold route for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You go cold, I'll go hot. Uh, uh, let's see. So, okay. So oh, okay. Yeah, a lot more people prefer theirs. <laughs> Hot, hot chicken. In majority, yeah. yeah. Okay, so 89% on that one. Donuts. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I, I must admit, I haven't really, I haven't really tried many hot donuts. Mm. Um, I've more, I've tried a few cold donuts, and I've yeah. really enjoyed them. So I can't really, I can't really say. So I think I'm going to have to go cold. Yeah. I've just really tried hot okay. donuts. Okay. So on this one, um, yeah, probably the majority of donuts I've had in my life before I've had them cold, but I actually do have. Um, recollections when I was a kid um, there was a restaurant um, I think it was in Barton uh, in Lancashire I think it was called the Boar's Head it's not there anymore because it, it burned right. down oh, um, yeah. a few couple of years back but um, I, I seem to remember when I was a kid on their like dessert menu they had uh, an option where you could get like these little like hot donuts and like a chocolate dipping sauce oh I see yeah and I do remember it being quite tasty um, when they were warmed up like that it was I do remember it actually being quite nice so um, that's actually swaying me a little bit towards hot but towards hot. but then again they were like plain donuts obviously with no real sort of filling in them because obviously right. you've got the chocolate dipping sauce um, whereas obviously with cold donuts they would probably have like a jammy or a creamy custardy yeah. filling something like that so that'd be a slightly different kind of donut. Um, What's, what do you more put, go for with those? Are, are you the, the filled or the whole? Ooh, um, Me probably, that, uh, well, mm, yeah, probably be the filled. I'd, I'd probably go whole. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You know what? On the basis that the majority of donuts I've had have been cold filled donuts, I think I'll go cold. But yeah. Are but, those donuts? Those look like onion rings there. They do look the a bit like onion rings, yeah. don't they? <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going cold. Cold, yeah. So I can't really say hot. Yeah. I'm going to go cold um, just because it's the majority of what I've had. Oh, it's sort of a. Ooh, mm, quite mixed, that one. Yeah. More of a. Um, well, slightly more even split, but uh, there you go. Mm. Right. Hot or cold soup? Definitely Ooh. hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cold is a bit. Uh, what's the famous one? Is it gazpacho? Something like that. Gazpacho yeah. is a famous one. No, yeah. Uh, hot soup, definitely. Yeah, definitely hot soup for me. Um, cold. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, again, it's one of those things which um, I've never tried. And so, you know, maybe I should try it just to say I've tried it, but it doesn't really appeal. Um, so no. for me, it would have to be hot. Um, what about you, Phil? Any particular like, favourite flavour of soup? Any, uh, any um, I don't tend to have soup too much, but mm. if, if I were, I do like um, uh, a, a noodly soup. Yeah. A meat and I do noodle soups I like. Mm. Um, a... Um, uh, meat and veg. I like. Yeah. I do like a good meat and veg soup. Aye, yeah. yeah. That one really appeals to me. Indeed. For me, it's uh, sometimes uh, carrot and coriander is always a nice one. Um, or the ones like minted pea and ham. Uh, that's always a lovely one to have. Or, you know, sometimes I'll just be boring and just go with a good wholesome tomato. <laughs> yeah, that one's it. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Hot. Yeah, so uh, hot, definitely, for me, hot. that one. Hot. There we go. Oh, wow, that's the, the know, biggest yeah, majority we've had so cool. far. <laughs> Indeed. Ooh, oh, hello. Now this is a difficult one. Oh, that is this difficult. Is, brownies are difficult because I have tried brownies cold. Absolutely wonderful. Mm. Had one just the other day, actually, uh, from Costa. Had a salted caramel brownie, and that yeah. was utterly fantastic. Nice and cold. But but when they're warm like that with um, gooey. Oh, God, yeah, they are nice. That's good. Oh, this is actually really tough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brownies man. work absolutely fantastically both ways. Mm they do so i could go either uh, on that one I, either i'd be happy with for the nice heat gooey chocolate i think ooh, i think i'm more going towards the cold yeah i mean cold's good but if you give me the option of uh, having them warmed up i probably would say yeah go on let's yeah, warm them no, up so yeah. on that basis i'm gonna go hot um, okay. just uh, you know because but then again i'm gonna go cold yeah i could still eat them cold anyway <laughs> yeah hot there we go. Uh, 75 versus 25. Okay, yeah, some more people would have gone yeah. off. I can see. Ooh. Oh, oh, of course. The, it's the ultimate one, isn't it? <laughs> this is the ultimate one. Uh, pizza, mm -hmm. of course, because um, there, there's it's very mixed and divided opinions about this. Some yeah. people are like, cold pizza? Are you fucking mad? 
<laughs> yeah. And then um, some people are like, oh my god, cold pizza is the most orgasmic thing in the history of the world. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, this one is probably even harder than brownies. Yes. Uh, I mean, obviously, we both had pizza last night. Yeah, we did. Uh, I must say, yeah, oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, my uh, barbecue chicken pizza from uh, Sainsbury's, oh, it was absolutely phenomenal the the barbecue they they see they they had really good barbecue on the on the chicken they did really well with that it was absolutely fantastic yeah uh, <laughs> and barbecue chicken as well from little lovely yeah it's good it's, it's good good <laughs> yeah, topping actually it barbecue. is um i mean i, I love having it the day but I, lo- I know that when we've had dominoes when you've come over and yeah. we've had it, had it the day after it's still really nice indeed um so, um, you know, between these two choices, I'd go hot myself. But then again, yeah. you know, I don't see anything wrong with cold pizza. It reminds me of uh, actually when I was um undergraduate yeah. student in university and like sat in the library with a friend of mine. He just pulls out like a cold slice of pizza for his lunch <laughs> oh, and just like funny. trying to yeah. furtively eat it in the corner of the, the library. library. Yeah, I think I would <laughs> yeah. be more hot pizza. I can, yeah. I can see the uh, book called. What is uh, annoying about pizza is... Um, what about what you don't want is a team hot cold hot pizza mm. because when you uh, stick it in the microwave after it's gone to get yeah unfortunately yeah. The, uh, the crust of pizza can get really soggy it can the uh, same thing god do you remember the, uh... the annoying thing about domino's <laughs> pizza yeah i will just say oh my god the salt oh god yeah salt. i remember when when we had it i just i couldn't stop i felt like i was having a drink every two minutes <laughs> yeah I need a drink now. I need a drink now. I need a drink. Oh. Yeah. I was about to say, um, you know, do you remember um, when I'd go around to your place um, back when I was living up north and we'd sometimes go to that um, like, like independent pizza and kebab house one yes, and we'd so. get those big like calzones. Uh, yeah, the barbecue calzones. Oh my God, yeah, they were Chicken stopped. and donna meat. And, I know. God, it's like that lasted you about three days, that did, because it was so much on it. <laughs> it was so filling as well. Yeah, yeah that, that was that, that was unbelievable. That, um, Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, uh, hot, yeah. Hot I've pizza. Got hot. hot for me. 89%. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I thought, I mean, cold pizza is, is fantastic. Indeed. Um, mm. Well, there we go. That was uh, another quiz, this time picked out by Phil. Um, that was uh, interesting. You got a sense of our tastes there, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, thanks for that, Phil. Uh, uh, th- thanks for that, Phil. I nearly said thanks for that, Phil quiz. Uh, thanks for that quiz, Phil, even. No worries. No <laughs> yes. worries. Indeed. And thanks for joining me. Mm as well um, in that case we'll uh, wrap up here so uh, thank you for joining us ladies and gentlemen that's about uh, a nice 30 minute uh, episode for yeah, you to get had a good little, uh, had a good little go yeah absolutely indeed Facebook will do links down below along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested and if you enjoyed a like is always appreciated but other than that this is the two of us signing off goodbye everybody you do- oh yes and, and, and to um, uh, everyone else as well I will just say um, uh have a go yourself on oh, yeah. if you prefer hot or cold. Indeed. Let us know your yeah. results or your preferences down below, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hello? Hello? Above? Oh, God, flute worm. Hello. I see you. I know. I know. It's definitely a secret. Oh, I missed all those, but never mind. Get you. And down. Crap. Wanting me to do all kinds of stuff here. Oh, I don't have time for that. I have to just go. I think. Shoot. Over here. Yep. I missed a load there, but never mind. I don't think I'm going to get quite as many lungs this time round. I don't think. Ha! Oh god. Crushers. Nope, shit. Do you think? Hooray! Stop that. Seriously. Hup. Okay. We're doing it though. We're near, we're near the front of this thing anyway, so it's fine. Shit. Apparently hurt me. Oh, friggin' thing up there.